States to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approve the minutes. It's 1223. Nope. I would say they look fine to me. Approve the motion to approve. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? General public concerns. Meeting down the door. Good. Yeah, I'm here. Um, Deputy Lampy was supposed to be here, but unfortunately he's sick this morning, so I'm going to try to wing this through this. <laughs> um, we were wondering if the board would be all right with us hiring two part-time jailers to fill in shifts that are open right now. Um, they, they filled out the schedule and with uh, uh, with everybody, we we got a couple open shifts and stuff, so we're just kind of wondering if we you guys allow us to have a couple part-time jailers on board to fill in when needed. You've got all your full-time yep. that you needed? We, yes, we need a couple part-timers. Okay. Did you rearrange the jailer mm -hmm. uh, scheduling and with more full-time people? Yep. But then you had no part-time then after that? Uh, we got a couple part timers, but we need just a few more to fill in some some gaps so to keep fill the slot right down there. And so to keep everybody part time yep. that's not yep. full time. Yep. Is it money there to work through all this yep. stuff? Yep. Is there? So would they be have to go through the schooling and all that too then? Yes. Yep. And. When I was told we have a couple that have retired, but would like to come back and work part time. Part -time. Oh, so the, 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 the training is done. Ah, yeah. that, oh, that's even better. Yes. I hope, hope they yeah. would be those folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah sounds like a good idea because that'd be cheaper than overtime. Yes. I will make a motion to approve for uh, to advertise for uh, part time jailers. Okay. I'll second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, Carrie. Thank you. Tell Corey thanks. Yeah. 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 Oh, Dean, yeah. while you're here, and yeah. not to bring up the uh, other things that we were talking about previously, but your work session thing that you had yeah. thought about, any thoughts and time and place and date? I guess I'm kind of open to whatever works for you guys. I'm pretty from one ever, so. Did everybody read that email? Mm -hmm. did, did you get that? I think I did. I've been kind of in an office last week. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Trying to take some time off to be with family. Yes, you know, yes, absolutely. So whatever works for you guys, you know, we'll sit down and have a work session. So are you needing, what do you think, an hour? Or we, would we need to coordinate with John upstairs to get him so that he could, can we get him those three, yeah. that email, or did, was he, he on that? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, why don't we check with him? Peggy and John, everybody got it, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can make my make it work whenever. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we try to put it on next week's agenda? Not necessarily. The fifth or the week after? Or? You want to do it like after a board meeting? Sure. That works. No. If we have something that we don't have okay. budget um, business. I won't be able because I still have to, unless I can get somebody to take mom down. Oh, so. oh, next okay. week. Yeah. Rick won't be here. I'll be here. Yeah, it's just, I have to leave yeah, the, um, take her to the to the wound clinic. Mm -hmm. So I suggest we just push it back another week. Yeah, I yeah. suggest yeah. next this coming next Monday isn't a good time. Okay, that works. All right, it would be the thirteenth. Yeah, okay. Put it on after the thirteenth. That'll work. Yep. All right. Okay. We can do that. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I forgot the six. Oh, you're not going to be here on the six. Okay, never mind. Because you're appointed chairman and a vice chairman. Down the year 2020. Well, I will appoint Eric Underberg as chairman, and I'll appoint Rick Peterson as vice chairman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be two separate options. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you want to just do one at a time then. Yeah. 
Is that what yeah. you want to do? We yeah. can do that. We can split them up if you want. Yeah. Okay. I'll appoint uh, Eric Umber as chairman for. I'll second. I'll motion. I'll Any I'll other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> I would like to appoint Rick Peterson as vice chair. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Hold, carry. All right. Now I can get out of the seat. I got one thing to say. It's been a good year. Uh, remind everybody, if, and I'm bad about it, when I sign a date, like 1-1 one, one of 20, Somebody can put a 7 behind it, or a 19 behind it, or an 18, so make sure you put 20, 20, so they can't change the date on you. Otherwise, you've okay. got a wrong date on a document. So put the whole year. Put the whole year, 2020, on it. Good advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More places are having to do that now. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, there you go. I never Good thought advice. about that, and I got an email on it. I said, make sure you do that. Thanks for... Everything you did this past year, Dave. Thanks for finding out. Yeah. If you don't want to physically move, we yeah, we'll move we'll, 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 we'll our junk later. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I went. I went through stuff last week. I didn't have as much to move. I know, right? It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made me. He's ready to roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I turn to meet you over here. Okay. We're going to act on our various board of supervisor appointments. Peggy gave us a list uh, not too long ago. Uh, if you went through it to see, I think we can kind of just run through it from the top. That makes sense? Yep. Um, and you've already done your chairman and vice chairman. We have that. Let's see. We want to go all the way. Let's see. I'll make a motion to accept the Humboldt Independent as the official county newspaper the calendar year 2020. I'll second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we got that done. Should we run through our appointments? So just. Well, I'll just go right down the line. Right down the line. Yep. Down the line. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. So. Um, the mileage rate. I did check to see what the current Fed rate is. Um, 55 cents is what we currently have. But I don't know what the federal rate is. I'll move that we keep it at 55 cents. I'll second that it. last year. Any discussion? All in favor of 55 cent mileage rate? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries at 55 cents mileage. Um, Mill reimbursement? No, go ahead. I wanted to visit with you what your thoughts are on the meal reimbursement to allow us to include tips as part of that $50. I don't ever see y'all enough when I'm at a meeting to hit that $50 limit, so for me, having the tip included would be quite useful as having the extra dollars around for tips and alcohol and whatever else that you have to have three different pockets to pay your bill out of. It just gets a little difficult for waitresses and I, I, since it's going to be 50 bucks I thought I'd check and see if you guys are willing to make that part of the cost. What is it around, do you know Peggy Brown the state what most counties do? It's, it varies. Some pay tips, some don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my group I hang out with it's probably 50-50. 50-50. More and more. What, well, you what about do? Oh, we used to? Yeah, we used what to about for the, the amount of per, per diem per day for meals? What, are, what is that usually? Our, our per diem per day is the $50. Right. But what, what do most counties do or what are the average counties? Oh, that's right. Um, now I haven't checked into that for a while. That's kind of all over the place. Is it? Some are very low. They're like 25. Some are where, where we're at. Some are at 40. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it just it varies all over. I don't think there would be any consistent no. number. Some counties uh, issue credit cards. Right. Yeah. 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 And I, I'm Is there a reason why we don't issue credit cards? Oh, I think it opens up We problems. do have some credit cards. I mean, but you still can't pay your tip out of there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. 
So when I go, if I charge my meal, then I have to have, I generally have cash mm -hmm. to, to pay. And when you're out of town, you have no choice. You have to eat somewhere, especially right. over, on an oh, overnight yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So, but then there's usually a group that tip is required. Yeah, yeah. 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 it comes automatically. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, question. Do you have a credit card using the treasurer? So I you have do. a small limit one. Yeah. Small limit one that you could use for if you're on. Yeah. So for the balance of us being supervisors, that really isn't an issue because we don't have a credit card, so mm -hmm. it's easy to segregate. You know, mm -hmm. we get the bill. It was whatever, and we can turn that in for reimbursement, but obviously not the tip. So mm -hmm. it's really going to only probably probably apply to. The folks in the offices with credit cards. Yeah. It's not going to apply to us per se. That's not. Well, you know, if you come in on a Friday night for a weekend move or something, you don't come in on Monday or Tuesday night, and you got to get a meal before you you meet the next day. Right. I don't know. I guess that's uh, open the discussion. If what you people. So uh, would it still be the the limit of whatever the meal? Well, the fifty dollar yeah. limit. Yeah. 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 Either way, you're going to catch it one way or the other. So Auditor we don't have to uh, see credit cards. So it's I don't not going to make a huge financial. I mean, if you figure somebody does the maximum of fifty dollars a day and pays twenty percent for a tip, there's ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, but then I have to say that if I'm at my $50 limit, that's not going to cover it, right? The still money wouldn't cover anything more than that. No. Most places that I've worked, and I'm, I know I'm just, but they cover everything. They cover the tip, yeah. you know, everything. I've never had to separate, separate it. And you, well, I'm just saying most, you know, the question was business just world, though, too. Up, not changing up to $50, just that if you have a $40 bill and a ten dollar tip i'm just using brown numbers sure, yeah. it's 50 you could include it because you, you got to your max if you go over 50 you're still responsible for right. anything tips or other meals or whatever because mm -hmm. we still have a set of 50 dollars mm -hmm. per day, yeah. per day. Right. i don't see a problem with that as long as we maintain it at 50 dollars per day because like you said it's not going to really change our budget no i'll make a motion to set the rate at 50 dollars a day including tip not to exceed fifty dollars a day. Okay. I'll second that. Any more discussion? All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Up to fifty dollars. Thank you, Jana. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have the authorization of the auditor to pay certain bills before formal board meetings. We have something in front of us. You can go down our list of board appointments too. Okay. Yeah, I thought I thought we probably better get that done. Yeah, yeah. but if you want to do that yeah. first, you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you went to a different sheet. I know. You got to try it. say you still got all these up here. I know. Yeah. But at any rate, okay, let's go through our board appointments so we get that taken care of. Uh, does that's why everybody get the list in front of them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll maintain the advisory to mental health. We'll just go down the list. Pay our, uh, bill payer, representative payee. I'm I not think sure what that is. I'm not sure either, but uh, my name's following it, so I guess I, it's a <laughs> tough job. I'll stay with it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Board of Health, Dave. I'll stay with it. Thank you. Uh, all my building families, that's fine. I will remain there. Uh, Central Iowa Juvenile Detention Center, Bruce. Myself Dave. and Dave, and I, I've offered... Dave, sometime if he wants to ride down, if our meetings don't, ride down with then he can ride down. And when I chime, that's a different place. Yeah. And if you've never been down there, sometimes it takes a little while to find a place. So I, I'll stay on that board. Okay. I'll stay on. And I'll stay on the CFR also. Okay. Uh, concerned citizens, aren't they all? I guess uh, that's fine. I <laughs> don't know if that's a formal organized. Board, to be quite honest with you, but uh, sure. I'll be there. Sandy is on the County Social Services Board. I'm on that in the daycare, and I'm, I can stay on Is that board. okay? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Department of Human Services Governance Board, I'm on that, which, uh, again, we are decategorizing again. Uh, yeah, 
But that's fine. Be categorization, I would not wish that on anybody else, so I will maintain that. I'll take that if you want to get rid of it. I'll stay. I've been through it before, so it's up to you. Let me. I'll I'll do it for now. I will take that under advisement if things get okay. screwier than it's it's, it's typically a um, you know categorize whatever. It's it's five years, is it? No, it's oh. it's no. Oh, it's, hmm. it's 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 more it's on that. that one. No, not that one. No, okay. but no, I'll I'll stay with that one. Okay. That's fine. The Enterprise Zone Commission. I'll stay on that because it's really a busy one. I can see you spend a lot of time with both of you. I guess I'll be your sidekick. <laughs> Dave is uh, the Regional Midas Board. Is that okay? Uh, yep. Thank you. Uh, Sandy's on the HIPAA. I, think I'll stay on I don't know. Does Adam on it anything? I am. I've never gotten anything on it. Okay. Well, you just stay right there and wait and okay. see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. The Homeward Housing Trust Fund. I'll stay on that because I don't think I've ever gotten anything said, on that either. Did we cross out, Rick? And say I did that? because after talking to Cheryl Reed, she said we only need to appoint one supervisor to the board. Okay. okay. That, that one. Okay. I did. Okay. I got a yearly packet on this. Yeah, I think she likes Sandy better than me. So. Well. <laughs> I won't say, but if Tandy's agreeable to stay there, I'll stay, I'll stay that's there. perfect. Uh, the <laughs> Humboldt County Advisory Board for Udmo. I'll stay on that. Master Reimers. <laughs> uh, <coughs> the Development Association is Rick. Yeah, I'll stay there. I will end up being on the E911 board. Yep. So that will be you, Eric. Yep. That right, will be me. The Emergency Management Commission. Eric. Second, yep, Chairman, me, okay. Uh, the Humboldt County Housing Development Board is Sandy and Rick at this point. I don't know what that amounts to. Rick? Well, we were really busy for a while. And uh, that has kind of slowed down. Okay. So. That, well, that's the one that I haven't gotten anything on that. Oh, okay. I, I didn't, haven't gotten anything on fine that. Fine, so you've yeah, been yeah, on yeah, that for yeah, quite a while. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. The Landfill Commission. Yeah, we'll stay there. The Bruce, remember you're the alternate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'd enjoy that. It's, it's an interesting. Rick has really been, really been on top of landfill things. The Humboldt County Social Services. Peggy, I was going to ask you on that one. What is, I mean, I've never got anything on that. I know I'm the alternate, but what's the difference between Humboldt County um, Social Services and County Social Services? Because their County Social Services is. You know, it's a region thing for all the counties, so I'm not for sure. Is there somebody we need to contact on that, that if there is anything? I would say they're the same thing and just got listed twice. Okay. But if you want to put um, Dave or whoever as your alternate up there, we can surely add it. Yeah, I think Dave is the alternate okay. on Humboldt County, aren't you? No, it says you're the alternate. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm you're the alternate on yeah, that. I'm the alternate, I guess, on that. Okay. Yeah. I've never been to a meeting. But we can't even put you in charge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you get a meeting, I'll go to it. Cresco's the next one, but I'm, that, yeah. I, that's an all day one. You don't, because we're doing a strength. You don't want to go on that one. Go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I crossed off Humboldt County Social Services and up on County Social Services put Davey and Dave. Dave is the alternate. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to. Scratch the Humboldt County Social Services. Right, yeah, I would think so, yeah. All right, we'll scratch that one. Rick is on the Iowa Drainage District Association Board. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the Iowa Governmental Health Care Plan Committee. I don't know. Is that the thing? Mm -hmm. IGHCP. Yeah. So. It looks like I will, will you please remain because that's going to be interesting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The one down in Des Moines. Yep. So it requires a chairman, but you've been involved in that because you kind of keep. It's nice to have someone else come down. I'll roll with you, but, okay. but apparently the chairman, but I think you know, your, your ongoing involvement, mm -hmm. kind of going from year to year with that. Is yeah, right? I, I really think it's been a good thing because you just start to learn it and then you're off. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I remember our discussion a year ago, and if you don't mind yeah, staying I don't mind. on that. Yeah. So, got that, myself and you. The LAC, uh, I'm fine with being staying on the LAC if Rick is. Rick? Yep. Okay. Uh, LEPC, which, whatever that is, I'm on that. 
but maybe it goes along with LEC, never had anything. Uh, Ministerial Association Hunger Task Force. That's me. Hanging in. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting in trouble with the ministers. Well, you're the guy. <laughs> you know. uh, North Central Iowa Regional Landfill. That's one for that. Yep. Rex has been on that for. Good with that. Thank you. What is the difference between that and the landfill well, commission? Here. Out here, out here, this one out here is just growing grass. <coughs> and, 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 look at the landfill. Then the retention pond. Yeah. Uh, got to maintain it 30 years. Yeah. Oh, really? After it closes. And we got to go till 2026, December, I think. No, it is. I think so. <laughs> or 2025, one of the two. Might be oh, December wow. 26 to 25. Well, on one of them, then when that guy comes to the one out here, you may. Give me a whistle, and so I could at least meet him. So oh, it means okay. I'm your alternate. I don't yeah. want to be walking around the section waiting for somebody to show up, and <laughs> so, I never have met the guy. Yeah, so. yeah. We we usually come out. We he's got a four wheeler or something where we walk it. All right. The, the or I just you look for ruts and okay. brown spots and low spots that are holding water. That would yeah, they they just freak out about it because of water. water. It's, it's, I mean, the pond can be the size of this table and they'll have a fit about it. Hmm. And you, you know, if they do it after a three inch rain, you're going to have ponding water. Yeah. Everywhere. So, well, I'm just. But they, they've calmed down a little bit out there lately, so that's good. That's good. Yeah. So, what happens to it after the 30 years? Then what kind of they call it? Yeah. Then they only check it every so many years after that. Oh, okay. All right. They back it off. You're not com ever completely done. Oh, you're not ever. Okay, that's why I was wondering no, after. You're never ever completely. It just done changes to a different section. Changes to a different deal, which would be less expensive. For the monitoring the old one there by the quarry. Or yeah, we go check that yeah. one, and it's been closed a long, long time. Yeah, okay. What about the one on my gosh? We have to watch that one yet. Yeah. Is that a city one? The one. The no, one we don't have part. any responsibility with the one down on gosh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just the two up here by the quarry. Yeah. yeah. We didn't want anything to do with that one by the quarry. Uh, the 210th Street there. The one on the, the old one. The old, yeah. old one. We shouldn't have anything to do with that. You only have to maintain them for 30 years. Yeah. Unless they change that really. You know where hearts live there? No, they've obviously changed it. Cause they come out there and tell us what we got to do. Oh, it's a dump line. Yeah. And I don't know what year exactly. Kid, was a dump that line. one closed. That's for the dump line. I know I've got it in a file. Oh, yeah. It's been burning for the last couple. Pushing 40 years. Yeah, because I mean, we got, it, we got spots. We're going to go out and fill in dirt this year. Yeah, they, they've both been closed since I started with the county. That's yeah. almost 20 years. Well, uh, well he's been about 25 years on the on the newer one out there. I so think the, the difference is what, once the they're closed, then the testing changes. Right. Because they don't do any groundwater testing at the old one. Yeah, you just got to maintain the ground in case it settles. Yep. Yeah. Keep the ponding away. Okay. Well, take Bruce out there with you sometime. Uh, I'd get get like to meet the guy. To I think I ever yeah. Thanks for keeping an eye on it. need to fill in for you and at least know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'll have to ask Dave about the regional hazmat team. Yep, that's Dave. Is that is there much going on with that? I've not been on the regional. Well, if you call regional, it's uh, Region Five hazmat team, right? And is that the same difference? Mm -hmm. Regional hazmat team is Region Five hazmat. I can yeah. reword it for you. That's where was it up here? There was another one up there someplace. Oops. Oh, the Midas board. Yeah, you're on Midas. So this is the region five hazmat. That I there was another one up there. I don't see it. Oh. I don't even see. We have okay. board on there. Bruce is the region five hazmat. What it is? Okay, that might be a good to reword that one. I'll stay on that. Bruce is the alternate. There's no. Yeah. That's okay. okay. We'll be about to be eight hundred thousand. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm on when you signed it. <laughs> I'm on the second judicial district. Uh, that is fine with me. Dave, would you still maintain being the alternate yeah. on that? That's yep. about a quarterly meeting over in yep. Webster City. Sandy is on the Small Business Development Board, which I don't know if is in existence or not. I don't know. I haven't gotten 
contact by anybody, so I don't know if there's, is there somebody that we should contact on these boards to find out. I don't out? know. The small business development, I bet you this new person they hire through the city might be ahead of that, maybe. Okay. Are you all right with that sure. if they, sure. something comes about? Okay. Rick is a supported employment admissions committee. That's, That's an interesting one. <laughs> it is. And like okay. you say, it's one of those that you don't meet. Okay. Well, you just hang in there. Just no, in the UGMO board is Bruce. That's me. That's Bill no. Thorne. You've been doing a really good job with all that. I'm UGMO. Thank you. Just did my training yesterday for it. Oh, and then you probably better stay on you. Uh, the Workforce Development. Yeah. Yay, I don't know. Is there? A, oh, that's you. That's a fun one, is it? So do you want to do the same? I'll make a motion on it. Um, just a second. I want to add Dave on for the Midas board because he's not on there for Midas anywhere. Yeah, yeah. What's that called then? Uh, right here. Executive Regional Midas board. Okay. I'll just switch the wording around and put That's Dave. There's, the there's three gotcha. others from the county on that. Okay. Uh, Travis and... Uh, Alyssa? Alyssa. She's the chairman, was the chairman. I think she got elected off of it, or boarded. Maybe okay. she's still there. I'm not sure. I'll put Midas first on that so that it jumps out at you. That was that Kathy that came up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The snowy day. She's a new director down there. Are there any committees that you guys are on that aren't listed here? Sometimes new things pop up and I'm not aware of it, and then you're doing it. And covers everything that I'm involved with. You folks? Yep, I'm covered. I think we're over covered. We got stuff yeah. that if we don't go to. I would make a motion then on all those appointments okay. as second. stated. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries for Board of Supervisors appointments. Uh, What's the back page? Yep. Moving along with our appointments. Uh, do we need to go through these other yeah, boards? Yeah, if I could just... Yes, you would, please. Yep. Um, you need to appoint the Chairman of the Board of Supervisors and the Auditor to the Courthouse Committee for calendar year 2020. Um, T.C. Loving is up on the conservation board. She, that would be a five-year term, and she has agreed to continue if you want to reappoint her. Um, John Meyer's term is up on the zoning board for a five-year term. I have not heard from him whether he wants to continue. Um, Louis Fallison's term is up on the board of adjustment, and it's a five-year term, and Louis has agreed to continue if you want to keep him on there. Um, we currently have Carl Mattis on the Homeward Housing Trust Fund Committee um, as a citizen of Humboldt. And then there's nobody for the Board of Health this time. And then Merlin Graff on the Veteran Affairs Board. It's a three-year term, and Merlin has agreed to continue. Okay. How many years have I been on that? Good question. I'd have to look back. <laughs> a long time? I think it was in the early 80s. Because you were appointed just last year for a three-year term, yeah. so, yeah. Between you and Merlin, you've got a lot of service in there to that board. Uh, George okay. Markman had to work most. Oh. He went on at 45, that's and true. he got off of it when he turned 90. When he turned 90, that's how old he was? Wow. Is that on the Veterans Affairs? Is that on the Veterans Affairs? Yeah. Well, you're still alive, so you're still on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got reappointed last year. Atta boy. Okay, well, I'll make a motion to appoint. <coughs> Excuse me. Eric Underberg and Peggy Rice ordered to the Courthouse Committee for the calendar year 2020. And the other people stated below to renew their terms if John Myers does accept. And I usually send letters out to all these people, and if they have any objections to that, they usually will call okay. me or send me a note. John, me know. John is probably in Arizona. He goes south for the winter. He's still at Merlin. Okay. Peggy, would you want to go down and check with him if he would do yeah, that? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Opposed? All those appointments carried. Okay. 
we need to the motion on um, yeah we I'll usually ask you to authorize the county auditor to pay bills when the board's not in session it's for things that come up when you're not around like salaries and payroll that have been previously approved mm -hmm. insurance payments unemployment quarterly reports and emergency expenses deemed necessary by the county auditor so it would only be like if if the bill came in for uh, repairing the tower and it wanted had to be paid within 10 days otherwise something would happen then we would do a handwritten warrant for it but normally we'd call the chairman first get your authorization on it then we'll go ahead but otherwise without this in here we couldn't pay that bill yeah. I'll make the motion to um, okay we've got that covered uh, any discussion all in favor all right. um, opposed motion carried No. We have some resolution. These might be the ones in front of us here. Uh -huh. 2020-1. Ben, do you want to? All we did was change dates on these. These are your um, engineer. Farm to market ones. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> First one is the farm to market one. Oh, so, yes. Uh, resolution concerning farm to market construction projects. Resolution number 2020-1. Do you want to do these separate? Yeah. I'll make a motion. Go ahead. Resolution 2020-1. I'll second the motion. Any discussion? <coughs> All favor? Aye. Opposed? The market from the market projects pass. Now I have adopted resolution number 2020-2. Resolution authorizes the county engineer to close roads for repairs. I'll make that uh, motion for 2020-2. I won't. I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> can I just sign these? Um, yes, you sure can. I will. Mm -hmm. I was reading through these last night, so my copy is sitting on my desk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, but at least you're ready for 2019. <laughs> so I'm a little behind on the name. So to say, we should give you a, oh, you're a right. copy of a copy. So now we need to set a date for the budget amendment for Humboldt County fiscal year 2019-2020. I'm looking at January 27th at 8:45. Then I've got to have time to get notice out to the offices, let them get their changes. I have some uh, changes on the departments that I have control over, but maybe somebody else out there has a budget amendment too. And then by the time you get your 10 days notice, in, we're at the end of the month. 27th. Yep, January 27th, which is a Monday, at 8.45, if that looks okay for you guys. And it's okay on our agenda so far. I would make that motion. I'll second January 27th at 8.45. Okay, that's the budget amendment. Uh-huh. We have a first and a second. Mm -hmm. I have a first, but you have a second. Sandy's second. Okay. okay, she was quiet. She is One, quiet. Sorry, I was, I was still putting everything in. Okay. <laughs> Any discussion on January twenty seventh, eight forty five, for budget amendment? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Passes. That is the date and time. Set date for special election for the city of Pioneer. The city of Pioneer. Um, at the last election, the, our first city school combined election had nobody vote for anybody. They had no names on the ballot. It was all right in. Nobody wrote in any names, nothing. So it was declared that there was no persons to take over January 1st. Um, so the city has asked for a special election. And so the auditor has the authority to declare a special, a need for a special election for the city of Pioneer. But I have to bring it to you guys, and a motion needs to be made so that they can have that election. So we um, can't just appoint somebody. No, no, no. It'd be so much simpler. simpler. Janet it would talked be. about that. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe nobody went and, you know. <laughs> yeah, nobody wrote in anybody. And there, probably this year, according to what Janet was talking Sounds about, if, if this this will probably they'll be um, unincorporated. Yeah, I think they wanted so. to do that with the. Yeah. 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 And she is coming to visit with you next week. 
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I knew she said she was going to get on an agenda. Yeah. Okay. I, I was going to have her come this week, and she said, no, she'll come next week, and we'll do this. And leave it the election set. So you have a date on that? February 4th. Feb February 4th? You have, you have to have at least 32 days. And I'll make the motion to have the special election February 4th. I will second. The discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? February 4th it is. So, not to be, I'm not uh -huh. trying to be smart, but no. is there like 20, I mean, what's the population that, well, will they have to be open for eight hours? Said there's like five households. Yeah. Um, we talked about, you know, Iowa doesn't have all mail-in elections. Um, some states have, or if you're under a certain population, you can do all mail-in. Iowa doesn't have that. So I've got a call into the Secretary of State's office asking if, for this reason, since it's such a small community, if we can just mail everybody in town a ballot and let yeah, them. Yeah, that would be so much. Well, First, we have wondered. to have the request form right. filled out, but you know, then we could mail them a ballot. Right, well, that's what I wondered if. If yeah. not, then what could our hours be? Um, the new rules on city school elections are they follow general election times, which are 7 in the morning until 8 at night. Oh my God. So, um, I don't know if they're going to be stuck with that. And if they are, there's really nowhere in Pioneer to have an election. The elevator's there, but it doesn't have handicapped accessibility. So if somebody in town couldn't get up those stairs, and, and being in the middle of winter, if they're slippery or anything happens to somebody, then the liability is ours. Right. So we're wondering if we could have the election just here in the courthouse, <coughs> maybe down in the assembly room or something. How about if somebody um, just goes down there and goes to all five houses and gets a ballot filled up? Iowa law does not allow it. That would yeah, be so simple. Yeah, it'd be simple that way. So these are questions I've yeah, got for them. Um, I know it's yeah. the holiday, and if, you know, hopefully everybody's back in the office today, and I can get some answers. But so yeah. we'll have the special election on the fourth, but we don't know how we're going to have it yet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll fill in the ballot later. Yeah, that will be worked out. That is crazy. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. yeah. I mean, it just seems silly. And hopefully this time somebody will vote for this money at yeah. time. And I think, don't they have to have somebody so that we can... I imagine they have somebody. Yeah. Yeah. They can't finish it out until yeah. they have mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. That's what Janet said. The problem is because if we don't get somebody, then that delays. Yeah, that's why I don't understand why we can't just appoint somebody Yeah. that would yeah. be willing to do it. It does not allow you to do that. If there were some existing members on there already, yeah. mm -hmm. they could appoint. But I there aren't. The whole council's gone. The mayor's yeah. gone. The reason why the Hendricks aren't in town, are they? He's in. Is he in the chair soon? Yeah. Yeah. The last I heard, I think so. the last I heard, you was at his wife were both in the nursing home. Yeah. That's what I. That's well, he signs it up pretty good. We got a date? No. We have to get through the last well, calendar. Yeah. Yeah. So fill in. We get somebody in there, and they'll get it on the court this year. Sometimes towards the end, they were still in the nursing home. Aha. We, we do, we have, let's, before we go any further, we have some more appointments yeah. to uh, get through. Back page. Yep, back page. So, um, not quite the back page. We have the eminent domain oh, board at shoot. the very bottom of the ah. Wait a minute. Eminent domain board. Serve as members of the uh, compensation committee as per chapter 66B.4. And if there's anybody on this list that you guys, that's one of the reasons I give it to you early, maybe you know they've moved out of town, maybe you know that they're not um, able to serve because maybe they're in a care center or maybe they're um, permanently disabled or something where they couldn't do something like this. Um, otherwise, I will send letters out to these people. And if for some reason they no longer want to be on the board, they will let us know. Will you put on there by a certain date when you send them a letter? No, I don't. But usually most of them, once they get the letter, they'll, they'll, they'll call get a hold of you. Or right. send me a letter or okay. something. Does anyone see, like Peggy mentioned, anyone on there that you have knowledge that just wouldn't be able or willing? I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Right. Okay. So. And you just need your motion then. I'll make a motion. I will second the eminent demand board. Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Eminent <coughs> demand board.
They don't, they don't eat meat very often, but they don't have to have them. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> now we go to the back page. Yep. Real estate salespersons or brokers. So that's part that's of that eminent domain. Oh, that all goes down there? Yeah. So then you're just appointing the personnel policy update committee, which will be active this year because we've got some updates from Renee that we're needing to go through and present to the committee. And now that we've got valuations done and we've got the election over, we can focus on doing these kinds of things. And if there's others you feel like needs to be on the committee, um, let me know. And currently Dave is on there. I don't know if you want to change that to Eric since he's oh, so chair. Or 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 Lee, yeah. yeah, just doesn't necessarily say chairman, but there's. Has it always been the chairman, do you think, or is it just, I can't remember. Typically it has, but it's up okay. to you guys. All right. Well, Dave, what do you want to do? It don't make any difference. If you want me to stay on it, I'll stay on it. Am I on that list? Yes. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Yep, county engineer and <laughs> yeah, safety director. <laughs> You get two votes. I get, I get two votes. <laughs> well, somebody make your mind if you want to serve it or do you want to stay with it? I'll stay with it. Alright, I'll make a motion to keep the same people on, or the positions, people or positions, on the board. Personal policy. I will second Rick's Committee. motion. Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? There we go with the list. Do we have anything else? On there this? it is. Yeah. We got that one taken yeah. care of. Oh Everybody's right. appointed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, everybody didn't send letters to Otherwise, they have to send a letter. I was sitting here looking through this last night thinking, oh, otherwise, we're going to have to go through and then look at the land that's on some books. Yep. And it's sold, and I'll put it back on the agenda. And we'll get somebody. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we got all the technicalities. Now we're down to committee reports. Yep. Quiet week for me. Nothing? Okay. We'll go backwards. Backwards. Bruce? Bruce? I don't think I had anything <laughs> last. I don't, I'm pretty sure no. I had nothing I, I had nothing. Well, this is pretty easy. Exactly. We're going back to vote but I didn't have anything official. Yeah. Is uh, is that compensation next this week? Is that the sixth? I had that wrote in the back of my. Tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock, right? For the comp board here. I wrote it in the back of my last year's book, and I just was checking, and I saw that. Yeah. So. But I had January 6th at 9 a.m. So that'd be Monday. That'd be next Monday. Yeah, that was, wasn't that? Yeah, they, wouldn't be, they wouldn't be doing your regular meeting. I mean, they usually uh, do did they meet? Yeah, we, yeah, we, well, we had the we had the one, but you and I, I were thought here. Sandy and I went to their first meeting. I don't know the I don't. Do you have anything on that, Sandy? I don't. Maybe I called the board at one o'clock on the thirteenth, but I don't remember. Okay, the day they, they usually uh, said tomorrow at one. So for the follow up. For the follow up. I don't remember. I don't think we had to be there, though. I think it is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. All right. I don't think we were there. I don't think we needed to be there. Yeah, I, I think we needed to be there for the first one, didn't we? I don't think, I think they me mentioned us wanting us there. Because yeah. I think tomorrow is when they decide. Comp board won. Everything. I think you're correct. I didn't really request that any officer <laughs> show up today. No, they didn't. Not, so you're not going to? No. You put in a good word. <laughs> All right. We said all we wanted to say. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, I didn't have anything official meetings this past week either. Okay. So I got that done. I would throw one reminder. Next Wednesday, the eighth, is our mobile food pantry down at the fairgrounds. If anyone's looking for a little bit of uh, exercise. exercise and what comrade? Uh, Four thirty. On Wednesday, the 8th? Yep. 
Let me write that down. Let's see the eight. If I can get to the right. That would be it's hard to believe that's the Is it the last. Okay. The one last scheduled one and then they're in the process of getting next year's paperwork lined up so we can do it again for another year. Every other month. Well, we're trying to, yeah. We we have it spoken for through, but I don't think that the paperwork is all in line yet. January is the last month of last the last calendar month for 2019 of doing it. 4:30 Thursday the 8th. Yeah, and it just goes until they run out of food. So most of the time, it's usually done by six. We have everything picked up, put away, and moved. So there's usually a line, ain't there? Yep. yep. They usually have them out the door, and first come, first serve. They usually have two or three different hot items, and the rest of it, once that stuff goes, it tapers off. Or I mean, what was it last time, Dave? They got pork loin and chicken. Yeah. Both, so I mean it's quite a. We went through the food too. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah, they had. The tech was that I was giving somebody beside me was giving out coconut, pineapple juice, and I can't remember what I was giving out. Yogurt. I give out yogurt. Your yogurt. <laughs> it's fun. We have fun doing it. You know, they don't want to get enough people to help. You know what? They've been really, it's been a good thing that the kids have been off the wall. I mean, numbers-wise, they, they bring high school kids down, they bring Cub Scout kids, they bring unit church group kids, and usually they have um, a lot of help. And by the time they get it done, people start picking tables and moving, and it takes 20 minutes to pick stuff up. Yeah. So, but yeah, they have plenty. You, you must yeah. have a good organizer. Yeah, yeah. They didn't um, have any we do. Kids last time, maybe a half dozen right. that pushed the carts for the people to go through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> they were short some kids, but there were plenty of adults there that jumped in and took the carts and went through. And this is this time of year when it's slick and icy outside, and you worry about the people, all of us, going in and out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And Bruce, for those people who are wanting to help or maybe wanting to pick up, um, is it at the fairgrounds or is it out at it's secondary? It's at the fairgrounds. Or? No, it's at the fairgrounds. And uh, how long does it last? Four thirty till six thirty is the scheduled time. But it's you can get yeah. you can leave. They usually don't start early because if they start early at four no, thirty, I mean like if I come and help because I have a meeting at church at six thirty. Like oh, you'll be gone. Yeah. You can yeah, leave. You'll be gone. I got a meeting at uh, six. So who is, is it? Connor, Diane. Yeah. Is the she's the person that coordinates all of the help. You just go in and sign your name in the time you come in, and okay. when you leave, sign your name out. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All help would be appreciated. They'll okay. tell you what time to, what, how much food to give away. If you got a lot here, but they'll say give everybody two. If you got double tickets, you give everybody four. Cool. Yeah. All right. It looks like towards the end, and you got a lot of people, you just still give them the same. Otherwise, you start doubling it up. <laughs> just get rid of it. Yeah. Well, whatever is left, they take to the food pantry in the last couple of times. It's been just a couple of boxes, and I think the one, two times ago, the Renwick uh, Food Pantry lady came down and she ended up leaving with most of the stuff that was left. We just said, take it, get it out of here. So Good. It's a lot of fun to do it. A lot of people down there and we all have fun joking around and okay. picking on everybody. Right. Anything else between now and Monday? Yeah. Good. It's going to be a quick time frame between meetings. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.